Well, hello everybody. It's me, Mike, from Team Brothership. Thanks for joining me here today. And uh, today I am starting a new Let's Play of Mega Man X. Um, I'm playing this on the PlayStation Mega Man X. Where did I put the box? It's gone forever. Uh, the Mega Man X, blah, that was fast. Anyway, the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. And the first thing I'm noticing is um, the music's kind of different in the opening. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, maybe we'll, uh, I have a million different ways to play this game. Is there a music option? I did just mess around with some of the, oh, yes, this is important. There we go, perfect. Um, I was just messing around with some of the visual options because they put that god-awful filter on everything. But, uh, yeah, we're playing Mega Man X today. Uh, Paul has been bugging me to do this for a while. Well, I should say he's he's been bugging me to do a Let's Play of the entire run of the Mega Man series, which I am not going to do. Sorry, buddy. Um, but I, uh, I was having difficulty deciding what Let's Play to do next. Um, and so I figured I could probably get through this game in two to three sessions, so that would be a, a good <laughs> a good piece of filler, I suppose, as I whoops, as I take my time trying to figure out what I'll what I'm gonna do next. Um, it'll probably be some giant RPG that nobody will watch, but hey, everybody loves Mega Man. Maybe some people will watch this. So speaking of everybody loves Mega Man, um, I love Mega Man, and I know. Obviously, I've done a number of Castlevania Let's Plays, and I've talked about how much I really love Castlevania. The interesting thing is, though, actually, that when I was a kid, uh, not that I disliked Castlevania, but it was definitely of, of those games that I was kind of like, eh, it's fine. You know, I don't mind it. It's good. I like whipping some vampires and monsters. I, I, I like spooky creatures. Um, but Mega Man was definitely my jam. I was I was really into all the Mega Man games. I had at least one, if not more, Mega Man themed birthday parties over the years as a as a child. Whoa, look out! It's coming down. Um, <laughs> and, and and perhaps as an adult as well. But oh ah, shooting my oh that's gonna blow up. I was hoping I could get through this unscathed and look real uh real awesome this is a game that i've played a hundred million billion times whoa um so although not not as much in recent years but i've played this game quite a lot uh i feel reasonably confident and competent conf confident in my abilities um actually it's technically impossible to get through this level unscathed. Um, yeah, speaking of this level, why don't we talk about that a little bit? So, when this when this game launched, um, let me take out those cars, and this one's coming right down on my face. Yep. Well, wow, we've cleared the level before I even had a chance to address it, essentially. Um, when this game came out, I remember... I. I don't want to say I was blown away by it. I was a, a big, big fan as a kid of the earlier... Ooh, here he comes. He's going to punch us. Ow, he's punching me in the face. Whoa. Ah. Ah. You can actually get... You, you can't win this fight. I, I think I've heard that, like, if you fight... <laughs> Oh, purple Boba Fett. That's mean. Um, you you can't actually win this fight. Oh, that was weird. The sound was weirdly off. Interesting. We're we're making some discoveries here. Obviously, my my predominance of my experience with this game has been playing it on an original Super Nintendo. Um, I might have played it once or twice on the. Sorry, X. Um, 
so some brief introductions. This is Zero, the fellow in the orange armor, orange red, and the guy that just ran away that looked like purple Boba Fett is is Vile or or Vava if you're playing the Japanese version. Um, let him speak his dialogue for a moment. Encouraging Buddy Zero. <laughs> Somewhat of a backhanded compliment, but we'll we'll take it. <laughs> so I'll I'll scout ahead while you do all the work of destroying evil robots. Um. No, he's he, Zero's a good buddy here, even though he he is. The leader of the the hunters, the most powerful robot existing right now. Oh, I can save even. I will save my game data. Well, the music during the level seemed okay. This music sounds fine. I don't know. Maybe it was just that weird little bit. Anyway, a little bit of background before we move on. So I remember when this game out came out. I don't want to say I was blown away because I, you know, I played arcade games, I'd played PC games, I'd seen things that looked more impressive visually than the NES Mega Man games. But there was something just really exciting about the the increase in style and visuals and music applied to the Mega Man formula. And I remember I was real, real into this game. Um, didn't like the animal theme quite as much as the, the, um, straight up robot theme of the previous games, but it, it was fine. And I remember, I, I really liked that introductory level. You know, all the other Mega Man games just kick you right to the stage select screen like this one, but that was the first one. Now somebody's going to jump in and be like, oh, actually, there was this other game. I mean, eventually they rolled out the starter level in, in almost all of the Mega Man games, but this was the first one, as far as I can remember, where they just start you, you know, right in a level. And it's cool. You're, like, fighting down the highway. There's, you know, cars racing away from the carnage. It, it feels very much like a late 80s, early 90s anime, a la, you know, Bubblegum Crisis or Akira or one of those ilk um, it's just a cool, cool little bit. But anyway, all right, we're going to move on. So I'll, I'll obviously be waxing nostalgia quite a bit during this Let's Play. Um, and actually, this is probably one of the few action games that I can keep up a pretty steady pa uh, patter with because I just know this game backwards and forwards. Although, like I said, it actually has been a few years since I've played it, so I'm sure I will make all variety of humiliating mistakes as we go. Anyway... We're gonna waste this penguin guy first because, I mean, if you if you had to fight an evil robot, uh, the penguin would probably be one of the less threatening options. Yeah, this music sounds okay. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research after this because that that was weird. That title screen was definitely off. That music. Whoop. Ah, right in the face. Um, that's all right. Um, interestingly, well, we'll see if it happens at all, but interestingly, if, um, you know, I will see. Yeah, see, he la the hunt, the, um, woodsman guys actually laugh at you if you get hit. Ah, jeez. They're aggressive today. Um. So, yeah, I, I remember when this first came out. It, it was not a launch, uh, Super Nintendo game. It, it was fairly early in the, the SNES's lifespan, but it was not a launch game. Um, oops, almost missed him. And I remember, you know, on, on some level, it's going to sound kind of funny to say when I was just talking about how much this game, we'll say wowed, not as opposed to blown away. Um, it might sound kind of... Oh, come on. Seriously? Alright, well. Ah! <laughs> okay, what is the, what's going on here? There we go. 
Jeez. I remember that jump being as difficult. Um, well, we'll solve that problem momentarily. Um, here we go. All the other games. So this is the, the dash capsule. Well, there's some story here first. It's our old buddy, Dr. Light, creator of Mega Man and X and various other characters. Long since dead, but he left behind uh, some abilities for us. Nope, it sure didn't. I kind of left it just right there in the middle of the path. I'm, I'm sort of surprised. I don't know if the evil robots found it and hauled it away. Yeah, we definitely need them too. Great. Alright, so this, this fella gives us the uh, the dash boots. And they do actually, it's it's neat in all of these games, they do actually change X's sprite. And, whoa. Gotta remember not to accidentally, uh... Stupid. Um, gotta remember not to accidentally double tap. Um, in all the other games, they they give you the dash ability right up front, which is which is good because it's kind of important. It's somewhat difficult to uh, navigate through these games without it. They're sort of dependent upon your ability to move a little bit faster. Ah, uh, here we go. This was pretty cool. Jump in and ride around in this giant robot and smash things up. And you can dash as the robot too, which is fun. Um. Oops. Don't go flying. Oh. Need to fight these other guys. Well, and that. It's <laughs> an interesting trophy title. Well, and that's that. Hope you all had fun riding the robot there. Um. Oops, hold on. Later, we're gonna come back and go this way, but there's literally nothing we can do about it now. Um. So as I as I was saying, whoops, whoa, stupid mic. As I as I whoa, as I was saying, <laughs> stop hitting me with snowballs so I can talk. Um, oh, perfect. Ooh. <laughs> Little low on life, but this guy's not that bad. Um, it, it may sound funny to say that I, I despite being wowed by this game, um, that compared to a lot of other stuff that came out around the same time, woo, um, this game was, ah, ooh, he hit hard. All right, well, we may be restarting this fight once. stupid. That's alright, we'll get him next time. We get that free life. Um, gotta remember that. Oh, I didn't charge up my attack. That's fine. Um, compared to a lot of other things that were out on the Super Nintendo around the same time, um, it may sound kind of... Oops. Tried to do a uh, regular slide there is as opposed to the old dash um, but in a lot of ways ow I thought I was gonna miss the edge of that but um, this was not a um, super impressive game as, as far as like wow factor I think compared to some things like um, oh come on there we go compared to something like uh, Super Castlevania 4 or like ah, 
Act Razor or or something like that. Where um, there we go. <coughs> where, <laughs> where you know there was just a lot of crazy stuff going on. You know, Act Razor. You've got the super bombastic soundtrack. Uh, you know, really orchestral. You know, you've got the two different gameplay modes. You're jumping back and forth from like a sky level and a, a you know side scroller. Something like Super Castlevania 4, again, bombastic soundtrack, huge sprites, you're whipping in eight directions. Um, you know, they, they felt like real massive uh, upgrades to what had been coming before. And in a lot of ways, this didn't really feel like that. Um, but that being said, um, it, it felt like a much richer experience. All right, we're jumping over to this guy next. Um, you know, you're, you're functionally not really doing much different than... Oh, and here's where... This is the level where we can actually start to... Um, you do the penguin first to get the dash, but there's a lot of other, like, items that you can find throughout this game, and that's what we... Uh, oh, no! <laughs> wow. That was dumb. You know, it almost sounds like there's some weird stuff going on with the audio channels. Almost like the old Nintendo, where it's like your sound channels get too busy. You know, if you've got too much sound going on... Alright. There we go. Yeah, this music sounds different. Alright, so that's our first life upgrade. That's pretty useful. It does seem to be like a almost like a missing track. How weird. Well, uh, I don't think I need anything over this way. I think the next thing that I want is a little bit further along. Um, yeah, there's like there's like a little bit of a track missing. Funny. Well, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll replay this. Uh, actually, I want that. Come on, buddy. There we go. Uh, go up here. Oh, this is a cool little effect. You kill that guy and it blows out all the glass. That's very important. That will make things <laughs> significantly easier. All right, there's... Whoop. There's, um... There's kind of three... Well... There's only three upgrades here that we're, we're looking for. The next one is a little ways up ahead. Is it here? No, it's a little bit up ahead, I think. Um, of the various upgrades, it's kind of the least important, but um, there's a couple other things. It's really like the dash in and of itself makes gameplay easier. This thing that we're picking up really just makes acquiring a few of the other upgrades a little bit easier. Um, there we go. Right in here. <laughs> Danger. A couple of charge shots. You know, all things considered, this stuff's pretty sturdy. It just took three, uh, four Mega Buster Blasts. Come on, blow up. Wow, it's really... There we go, okay. I don't know, that wasn't it. I guess it's up further. Or I missed it like a big idiot, and it's... Oops. And we'll just keep going. Presumably it's somewhere here, and I've just forgotten. Down here, maybe? For some reason, I was thinking it was, it was the down area. I don't just bust through here and presumably find it. That one up is helpful since I did dust myself like an idiot earlier. All right, here we go. This is the helmet enhancement, which will <laughs> perfect. It's 
all crap there. Show off what you can do. So yeah, you can jump through. So this really uh, does very little other than allowing us to get, I think, two other upgrades, two other much more useful upgrades later in the game. Um, but whatever. They can't all be. Uh, I can't really get that. Free lives. I need that. The nice thing about these uh, health tanks is, ah, I don't know if I stop getting hit for a minute, um, that health tank that I picked up a few moments ago will allow me to start, ah, <laughs> uh, accumulating some health that I can then use later as required. Um, but you gotta be at full health when you pick things up, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, did these fall? Something tells me these fall. They do. Okay. Alright, so now we're boarding the spaceship. Not really, it's not a blue. Oh, it's an airship. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Are those guns? Nope. Alright, we're at the boss already. Good times. Um, this guy is not particularly bad either. Normally in Mega Man, you know, you you kill the one guy with with your gun, and then you use the weapons from the others to kill the bosses going forward. But I found all right, let's do that. Mm, all right, let's do it this way. You gotta kind of ah. Going poorly. His interestingly, his weapon actually can't hurt you. I mean, everything else he does can, but ah, damn it! Playing real sloppy today. <laughs> Just drop me right in here, to outer space. Usually I can get through these folks without taking much damage, but like I said, it has been a little while. Interestingly, again, the sound channel, there's usually like a pretty stark sound effect when he does his dive. makes it a little bit easier to dodge him, but it seems to be cutting out. Ah, damn it. Well, we've got him pinned now, as it were. Yeah, the sound's all janked up on this. They're not great ports, I guess. Anyway, so he does these dive attacks, and he throws eggs and things at you, and he shoots you with his tornado. Um, but not that difficult. Like I said, the tornado actually can't hurt you, which is kind of interesting. Um, it just pushes... Oh, come on! Alright, I'm gonna start. Ah, maybe you won't do that. <laughs> maybe it, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blame it on the emulation. I used to be able to hit this guy as he was diving, but... You can tell he's a little bit tougher than the uh, the penguin. Come on, let's shoot another egg here. We go. Ah! Oh, come on! 
There we go. <laughs> A little bit trickier than it should have been, but not too bad. And we got our three up. And you can see in the background very clearly the ship is crashing now, which is fun. Um, that's something else that this game does, is going forward, um, depending on what level you... what order you finish the levels in, some of the following levels will have different features. And actually, we're going to see that next, the next place I'm going. Um is going to be a little different than it normally would be uh, because we already destroyed the um, the penguin level. We're going to go fight the mammoth. So anyway, uh, jumping back to just my general history with Mega Man. Um, yeah, when I was a little kid, I, I don't... It's one of those things kind of like Star Wars where I don't even exactly remember the first exposure I had to Mega Man. It was definitely Mega Man 2. Oh, so you can see, normally this level is like all on fire and everything. And there's like stuff that you don't want to land on so you don't get exploded. But here, uh, <laughs> because we defeated the penguin first, I don't know, the climate crisis, it just spilled over into the, the rest of the level and now everything's all, all frosted. Don't shoot at me. All right, now here, I guess it's a little bit ahead. Is there a mini boss here? No, there's no mini boss. Not in this level. All right, here's one of my least favorite things to get. Um, there is a power up, a really good one that we want to get. That's right. It's right up there, but it definitely you gotta like time it just right and you gotta like grab the edge and then even even when you get up there you gotta time it just right and like start jumping upwards and smashing through that oh, come on oh I almost had it um oops Oh, crap. That's what I didn't want to have happen. Because now... I don't know if I can get back up there. It's a real crapshoot how you do this. Well, I'll take, give it a couple more tries, and then... If that doesn't work, then we'll just we'll bail, and we'll... I'll just come back here on my own, record it separately. Why does that screen look all messed up? That's fun. I thought these had had a reputation for being well emulated. Wow, yeah, that is all janky. Yeah, I don't think that's my recording equipment. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting back up there. Damn it. That's a really <laughs> useful ability, too. Well, all right. Come back later. So long, Mr. Miner there. Uh, I think there's another thing you can get over here, actually. Yep. It's very useful. I always thought these guys look kind of like bulldogs. I don't think they're really supposed to, per se. Yeah. Oops. These guys laugh at you, too, when they hit you. Oh, that would have been useful. That's good. Perfect. Anything over here? Nope. Ah, bummed I missed that. That's gonna be annoying. That's a, um... That's a gun power-up that's over there, but we'll... I'll come back and get it. Uh, you know what I'll do after this level? We'll um, we'll go back and recover a couple of the other power ups that were in past levels that just couldn't get until this point. And watch out for that. Thankfully, with the fire out, you can just kind of skate below all of this, and the dashes make quick work of it. Boop. This is a pretty short and it's <laughs> insubstantial level. Oh, where is it? Do I want to go up here? I can't remember. 
uh, pretty short and insubstantial level if you've done the penguin level first. Because you otherwise this would all be like instant kill anytime you landed on the uh can I go over here? Oops. Ah. Um, otherwise it would be instant kill anytime you landed on the the fire. Can get down over here. Oh, I don't need to. And we're at the boss already. Easy peasy. Alright, and for this, can I use the... I'm actually going to switch to... The Storm Eagle ability. Which I believe is the one that he's weak to. Can we freeze this guy too? I don't remember. We're going to use Storm Eagle abilities. So when he does that, he, uh, ooh, get over here. Ah, you, g you generally don't want to be on the ground when he lands because he does the, like, ground shaker move. Ah, come on, get him. There we go. No problem. Again, with the wacky sound. I don't know, man. Having second second uh, guesses about this about this collection here. Let me go back to my PlayStation 2 version, which those were not supposed to be great ports either. But oh well. Once my uh, I ordered an uh, what's it called an analog S S T S F Super Famicom. So, maybe I'll be doing all my recording with that going forward for these types of games. Alright, I'm going to do a quick pause of the recording, and I'm going to go back to snag some power-ups that we missed. So, I will rejoin you shortly. Alright, so we're back over here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to switch to that fire weapon. Oh, I did just top off my energy tank, too. Uh, switch to our fire weapon and look it just busts open these little hives and look at that health power up all right that's literally all that's up here but i wanted to show you all that it was here so now we're gonna bail out of this level and i will rejoin you again shortly all right so this is what was supposed to <laughs> happen i was supposed to crack through this thing here so now we're gonna grab our blaster upgrade So now you, you get an extra strong charge shot, but you can also charge up the sub-weapons, which is, is useful in a few circumstances. So I'll go show, they'll do a little demo here. Yeah, so that does a bit more damage. Takes another second or so to charge, but it's usually worth it. All right, off to our off to our next level, uh, which I believe is going to be Spark Mandrill this time, which I hope his level has shut down. I <laughs> can't remember if I've done the one. I think the ship crashing shuts his level down because his can get pretty nasty if, um, if it's still running at full force. Okay, yeah. You can actually see the wreckage of the ship crashed into his level. Um, so... It shouldn't be too bad, though, with... Uh, uh, do I go down or up? Yeah, look, we're already dealing much more damage. Oh, energy tank. I forgot about that. Although I don't think I can get it yet. Yeah, all right, well, I meant to go this way, but not right now. There's another level we'll have to come back to once we've picked up a few other weapons. I'm, I'm doing... This is the way that I've just always done this game in this order. You can take out... A, most of the bosses, your Mega Buster, especially once you've got this powered up... Oh, I'm going to forget where these all are. There's a bunch of these guys that are going to try to, like, knock you into pits and things.
Oops. Now it's done. Okay. I think there's one that's coming. Whoa. Ah! Well, I missed him, but I remembered that he was there at least. Definitely one here, too. Yeah. Not surprising me, friendo. Oops. Alright. There is a mini boss here. He's sort of a pain in the ass, if I remember right. Yeah, here he comes. But he's not going to be too bad now because he doesn't have any electricity to, to gather. So we can just pound away at him. No, get away. There we go. Just nice Mega Buster upgrades really help here. Go. There we go. That guy's a lot nastier when he actually has uh, electricity that he can draw from the ceiling. Uh, what's left? I don't think there's too much. There's another item that we can't pick up yet. I do remember that. <laughs> we need the... Um, we need the boomerang to get most of this stuff. Which we'll be getting... Eh, not way later, but... Not not imminently. I don't know if we'll get that this episode or not. Um, so back a little bit of my, my history. Yeah, Mega Man 2 is kind of one of those games that I, I just don't even remember life before playing Mega Man 2, but when I was a little kid, I absolutely loved these things. These are a little nasty. Not with the charge shot, though. Um, oh, here's the other thing we want to get, but we can't get it yet. Uh, actually, you, there might be a way... Oh! Hold on. Alright, hold on. I literally... Uh, ah! No, get it, get it! Alright, we're definitely getting this now, because that, that was awesome. I've never done that before. Come on. Just have to get it just... Ah. Get it just right. Yes! Ah, sweet, that's awesome. Makes me feel a little bit less crummy about all the times I've taken unnecessary hits in this video. We're almost to the boss anyways. This is not a very long level. Uh, what else? We got a few more turtles. That's fine. Everybody loves turtles. Um, but yeah, when I was a little kid, I was one of those kids who was just like super into robots. And the idea of having these like good versus evil robots. Ah! Um... And I loved the, like, elemental themes that they all had. Yeah, I'm not getting me that. No. So, these games were all an easy sell. Uh, and I remember I spent a ton of time playing the... Interestingly, this boss is actually... He's electric, but he's actually weak to ice. I mean, <laughs> one of the worst power outages I ever lived through was due to uh, a, a bad freeze, so I guess that's true. We need to get over this guy. And get him with the, uh, whoa. <laughs> and get him with the, uh, the shrapnel from it. Alright. <laughs> Don't want to take, whoa get on the other side of him. Yeah, with the ice power, he's he's kind of a joke. Um, but yeah, one of, one of the worst power outages that I ever lived f through, which was like nine days in an extremely cold December, uh, was because of an ice storm. So I guess ice against electricity sort of makes some sense. Um... But, yeah, so I, I definitely played Mega Man 2 and 3 a ton as a kid. They were, like, 
my go-to games that I just absolutely played the hell out of and I was obsessed with. And then at some point, the original... All right, we're, now we're going into the, into the mines of Moria to fight this armadillo thing. I don't think armadillos actually do a whole lot of digging, all things considered. This guy's level is... Um, uh, kind of has a lot of the secrets. Of, I will probably get killed a few times in this level. Actually, I'm going to jump down for a second because normally you ride that through and just smash apart all these guys, but I want to show you all this guy. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, this level kind of has uh, a disproportionate amount of the game's secrets in it, and one of them is this fellow who looks like a um, an original Mega Man bat style enemy and as you'll notice he always drops a free life which is which is great for us but also um, there's another secret that will I, th I think I will come back and do that much later um, oh he didn't drop a one up that time interesting uh, I'm gonna come back much later to get that I guess he's all out but you need him because it requires dying repeatedly in a few different places. So you kind of need those <laughs> extra free, uh, extra lives. And they're not really free, you're earning them because you're sacrificing yourself. But uh, So Mega Man 2 and 3 I played a ton. The original Mega Man... Right, I think I need to get behind this guy. I don't think this is the one that I absolutely need to kill, but I'm gonna do it anyways because just in case. No, get back. All right, we got him. All right. I think there might have been something behind him though. Yes, energy tank, perfect, all right. That wasn't the one that I needed to kill, but that's fine. That's the next one, which we'll uh, make a note of. Yeah, the original Mega Man on NES was, was kind of hard to find when I was a kid, I feel like. Oh. We can grab these to start filling up that new energy tank we just snagged. Um, Normally, it would just fall into that pit there and die. Um, and then... I did play a fair amount of Mega Man 4 when that came out, because I, although I never owned it. Um, but a friend of mine did, so I, I borrowed it from him, and I definitely beat that game and played it. And then after that, I, I kind of was like... I don't know, too cool for robots, I guess, which sounds foolish as an adult but yeah I was kind of just out of that Mega Man phase I think because um, I, I never played 5 or 6 I did eventually beat 5 and 6 but not until much later as an adult All right, this thing I think I can stay on and just carve through these idiots but then whoa, once I get to the bottom here ah come on all right, this one I do need to kill, and actually, I think I can. I think if I switch to the um, what's it called? The tornado. That'll actually help things. Get him! It does not seem to be getting him fast enough. Go down. Ah, oh, perfect. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta kill him before before he gets a little bit further, because otherwise he tears up the ceiling and you, you can't get that. There's not enough height for it. Which is a problem. Alright, I think this takes me right to the end of the level. Whoa. Shoot down a few of these things. I always thought this part was cool, these birds like flying out with you. If you hit them, they like they they crash. All right, and this is this is also the other secret. Um, much later in the game, we'll come back, and the 
arguably the game's rarest secret is uh, right around here. If you keep riding that thing, it'll bounce you right off the cliff there, so you, you gotta jump off right at the very end. Alright, now we're fighting some kind of armadillo creature, I think. Alright, and the first blow actually does quite a bit of damage to him. And it actually knocks his shell off, which is kind of funny. So now you can hit him when he's ah, bouncing around like that. That was a little closer than I normally like. Um, yeah, because normally when he's rolling around in his, his orb form, anything you shoot at him is going to just bounce right off like that first shot did. But once you shock him the one time, he'll, he'll lose his shell. And then you can just start blasting away. So now we get his rolling shield ability. All right, what else we got on the docket? All right, so we've got we've taken we've taken out five of these guys. We got three left. Um, that seems like a pretty decent place to start. We've been stop. We've been going for about forty-five minutes, so. We'll, uh, we'll call it with this episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed tagging along on one of my classic favorite games, Mega Man X. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do one or two other Mega Man X games. I know Paul really wants me to, but we'll see. We'll probably polish this episode off. If not next time, then certainly the one after that. All right, until then, everybody, I've been Mike with Team Brothership. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you real soon.